What is one Singapore tech stock that is in the semiconductor space that is poised for a really good reversal as we head into 2024? Hey guys, Joey here, top tier Mizeo, trader in Philip Securities. And in this video, I'll be showing you just one Singapore tech stock that has been in my watch list over the past few months. And it seems like we are seeing some really good price actions coming back. So if you know, for the US market, we have seen strength in many of those semiconductor stocks like NVIDIA, Applied Materials. Many of those have gone up by more than 20, 30, 40 over percent over the past couple of months as we near the end of the rate hike cycle. All right, so because there's talks about rate cuts maybe into next year, that's where we are seeing a lot of strength in many of those tech stocks that have sold off heavily in 2022 when the rate hikes actually started, right? So in the Singapore market, there's one stock that I like that has not really been moving much, yes, not really recovered much like what we're seeing in the US market, like those semiconductor stocks I talk about. Uh, but we are seeing some signs of strength and there could be a potential reversal coming up if we were to breach certain key levels, certain key resistance levels that I'll be talking about and why I like this particular stock in the Singapore market, right? So if you don't know what stock is this, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end and you see if you're in time to write the entire reversal or maybe even the uptrend of this stock in the Singapore market. Let's go. Well, this stock is called Franken, F-R-E-N-C-K-E-N. And this is where we will for Franken, just about three over months back and see right over here, we will actually consolidating all right, below this 95 cents. So 95 cents was a very key resistance level whereby we touched in May, in June, July, we came back down and we headed back to this very key support around that 80 cents, right? But somewhere around August, you can see right over here, that was when some upside targets were drawn as we broke that 95 cents resistance level we have traded below for about three to four months. So upside targets were drawn from 95 cents all the way up to about $1.20 right over here, $1.20. And that would be about a 24% upside, right? To about $1.20. So that was about three over months back whereby upside targets were drawn and to about 120. So let's see where we are right now for Franken. And if there could actually be more upside and what do we actually want to look out for So this is Franken right now and today is the 4th of uh, December 2023 as we head into 2024 right and we are trading about $1 and 22 cents. So it seems like we have headed up gradually, as I mentioned, um, just about three months back, we were uh, right around that 95 cents. We broke it, upside targets were drawn about 24, 25%. And we have indeed headed to our $1.20 target over the past few months. But we saw some profit taking actually coming back right over here. You can see sellers came back, we sold down a little bit. Uh, and today, right over here, we are actually attempting to break the $1.20 resistance. So why is this 120 resistance key? Well, we can see that 120, we have been trading below it for more than a year since 2022, right? Right away here, you can see we touched, came down two times, three times, four times, five times. And for more than five and six times, we have traded towards the $1.20 psychological resistance level and we have sold off, sold off, sold off, sold off, right? So that is a very, very key resistance level whereby you want to take note of, and that's what we have in mind as well, whereby if we can firmly break above this 120 well, then I would say that the uptrend reversal, right, towards the upwards direction can really start to happen more aggressively, all right? And why do I say that? Well, it seems like we have already found a bottom. As you can see, since last year, somewhere around like October last year, we have found a bottom around that 80 cents. So this is something like what we call a triple bottom. So one time we touch, two times, three times. So three times we hit it to this level. So let me just remove this. Uh, little resistance you can see that that is pretty much the range from 80 cents to 120 right now whereby we have traded below for more than a year and that's what we call a triple bottom where we touch like one two three rebounded from it as the trend started to stabilize and even 
flat now. You can see, right, last year, as I mentioned, when we had all the rate hikes, many of the US tech stocks, the semiconductor stocks actually sold off. And same thing for Franken, uh, the Singapore tech stock, we actually were in a downtrend somewhere around the beginning of last year, whereby we traded from like $2.20, $2, $1.80, $1.50, all the way down to about 80 cents. And when we hit that support level, well, there will signs of the downtrend seizing. That means you can see that we were in the downtrend, the 100 days moving average, the red line below the blue line, and we we're forming what we call lower high. So that's a sign of a downtrend. But once this lower high starts to stop forming, that means instead of forming lower highs, we form highs that are similar or maybe even higher, right? And you can see right over here, that was the case because the highs did not get lower, the highs managed to form somewhere around the $1 and 20s as well. It did not get higher as well. I'll come to that in a bit, but at least it did not go lower and lower. Same thing like the lows, right? The lows at about that 80 cents, it stopped getting lower than 80 cents. 80 cents became what we call the base support, right? Over the, the past one over year, whereby we rebounded like three times. So that is a good thing. It shows that the downtrend has stopped, all right? And we are at least turning to a sideways trend and potentially even an uptrend, right? So what could lead to the uptrend really forming and all the way back up to like $182 and $2.50, right? What could happen? Well, I would say that this 120 resistance level will be key and we want to break this level firmly. And why do we want to break it? Well, you can see that right over now, the moving averages in terms of the longer term trend, where well, I can see right over here, the 100 days moving average, the red line has finally crossed back above the blue line. And slightly, all right, slightly, both of these two lines are starting to slope up right now. And also the 20 days moving average, the green line, you can see that the short term trend was pretty much up right over here when we broke the 95 cents. As I mentioned, right, three months ago, we draw some after targets whereby the 20 days moving average, the green line was sloping up. So short term trend was up. We shot up all the way from 95 cents to 120. And the green line, the 20 days moving average line, you can see right over here started to flatten out as we started to consolidate. But right now, you can see that this 20 days moving average line, this green line, let me just zoom it in for you. You can see that this 20 days moving average green line was flattening out over the past two months and now it is starting to slope upwards as we are actually attempting to break the one. 20 resistance level. So this level is key. I think over the next few days or next one or two weeks, if we were to you know, stay above that 120, hold above it, that would become uh, potentially the new support level. We can turn maybe this to a green support line and upside targets can be drawn maybe all the way to about 140 first. So 140 would be the next resistance level. You can see pretty much a support level we have broken down after 140. If that gives way as well, then great. We may maybe head all the way up towards the $1.80 next resistance level. And when that happens, I would say that the moving averages in terms of the trend indicators, right? The 100 days, the 20 days, even the 200 days will all gradually start to point up. And this reversal can start to happen more aggressively in terms of the uptrend. It could really start to take shape more firmly as well. So let's take a look at what it says on my 1GT system. So I have a system called 1GT, which stands for One Good Trend. It's pretty much based on the One Good Trend strategy or framework that I've used for more than 10 years now. So this system kind of guides us on stocks like this and also when to get in and when to get out as well. So let's take a look at this system, see what it says. So this is um, Franken right over here. All right, and you can see that for Franken, as I mentioned last year, we had a couple of a bearish signals. So this red arrow pointing down, it's about called bearish signal. You can see since uh, end of 2021, uh, we have turned from an uptrend to a downtrend, red bar right over here, and we're pretty much just selling down and down from like $2.30, $0.20. Cents. You can see a red bearish signal ta -ta -ta, all the way down, all the way down until, all right, as I mentioned, beginning of this year, somewhere around like June, July, August, we saw some selling as well, but then some bargain hunting actually come back as we found a bottom around that 80 cents. So let me just zoom in to where we were, somewhere around August, as I mentioned, right over here, we got this bullish signal right over here. It's a green arrow up finally after all the red bearish arrows down. We got the bullish signal right here, started to trade up another few more bullish signals as it headed towards the $1.20 resistance level that I talked about just now. So over the past two weeks, we have another bullish signal coming out on the 8th of November. You can see we are actually attempting to break the $1.20 right now. So as I say, right, if we can stay above that $1.20, we break above it, we stay above it over the next one or two weeks, 
that could be a sign of strength as well that shows that buyers are now prepared to take this stock above that key one dollar and 20 cents psychological resistance that we have traded below for more than a year now and that would be something meaningful and when that happens i would say that this bullish signal the most recent bullish signal can really start to play out we might push up to like 140 150 maybe even 180 and we may see an exit signal as well to guide us to get out all right and you can see that from the trend right we have turned from a red bar so red would be a, like a little bit of a downtrend so you can see a bit of a downtrend since may to august but somewhere around end of august as i mentioned we broke certain level targets were drawn to the upside and the bar has turned from red to green so it's a bit of an uptrend right now just starting to take shape of course we need to really break the 120 to see a much firmer uptrend. So there we have it guys, this is Franken, one of those Singapore semiconductor tech stocks that has been in my watch list over the past couple of months, all right, and there could potentially be more upside as we head into 2024. So make sure you watch this level, the $1.20 resistance, hopefully we can break it, be stable of it, and that could be really meaningful as we head into next year as well. All right, so if you like this video guys, go ahead to give me a like, hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss out on any videos like this. And if you want to get some of my top Singapore ideas by WhatsApp, Daily. All right, make sure you click on the link below. I'll place the link right there. You can find out how you can become a VIP client of mine in Philip Securities for free. All right, and you do not pay anything more as well. It's pretty much the same as whatever you're paying when you are trading, the same usual fees and commission that you are paying when you are trading. So if you can get some of my top ideas, market updates by WhatsApp daily, all right, click on the link below, find out more, all right, and that's where you get some of my ideas and we do share uh, stocks like this, of course, we share Franken as well and some other top Singapore stocks, you can put them in your watch list much faster, all right, much faster than it takes to produce a video like this where to edit it, uh, you know, plan it and all that. Uh, you do get some more ideas by WhatsApp faster as a client of mine in Philips Securities, right? So click on the link to find out more, all right? And look forward to see you in one of those webinars as well. You're going to learn a little bit more on the strategy and the system that I have. Joey here. I'll see you soon. Take care.